Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a, a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and uh, a Cancer Rising monthly tower reading for August 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are to go straight away to the um, to the reading. So the first card which stands for the topic of uh, Cancer Month is going to be the Eight of uh, Wands, followed by the second card which stands for the um, <clears throat> peripheral activities that Cancer can uh, attend to throughout the month should they decide that it's kind of worth it. This is going to be the Sun card, followed by the third card which stands for the challenges of uh, Cancer Month, that is going to be the Page of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the Cancer Month. This is going to be the Six of Wands. And the final card, which stands for the challenge, uh, for the guidance here that Tarot has for you, Cancer, that is going to be the Two of Swords. So, a, a quite of an active month it is that we do have for you, or at least this is what my Tarot is predicting for you, Cancer. A, a month which is going to be dappled with a... Uh, extraordinary ex um, enterprises really and and quite a lot of room for success career or relationship wise as well but only uh you know if you are willing to let go of certain people which appears here in the page of pentacles challenging position but we're gonna go there in a um, in a few minutes first before we scrutinize the reading let's uh, give it one more rundown and uh, the first one once again as a topic is going to be the eight of wands followed by the peripheral activities of the sun card then it is the challenges which is the page of pentacles afterwards it is the positive aspect which is the six of wands and the final one is going to be the two of swords which stands for the guidance all right so eight of wands well, there is not much to be said about this card. It basically, the card points that the, the current this month, you know, how the events are aligning and all these kind of stuff, you know, there are going to be a lot of windows of opportunities for you to attend to many gaining for enterprises, not as big as, for example, the gaining for enterprise which the ace of wands gives you you know but these enterprises here from the eight of uh, wands will allow you to make your life much more exciting okay so as this month is going to be dappled with opportunities and an opportunities for success that is uh, these opportunities themselves or these enterprises are going to be not that impactful let's say it that way all right so it's going to be more like a, a carefree month for you which you decide what you are to contribute or to involve yourself into and which kind of enterprise you would rather pass all right 
Uh, Eight of Wands, however, urges you to be uh, clear-minded when you approach a, a certain thing, you know, because it's it's a high risk, high reward kind of card in a sense of that, you know, you may gain a lot from that thing, but you may lose further opportunities to do something in regards of that thing. Just to give you an example here, let's say that the Eight of uh, Wands here represents an appearance of a person that is really suitable for you. You really like the person. So there we go. I mean, uh, you have an opportunity to start dating, okay? But in the same time with the Eight of Wands, one wrong step, you know, and you lose that opportunity forever. And for that reason, you know, you need to be very calculative when you are to approach either of those enterprises which are to reveal for you throughout the months of August. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the Tree of Wands and uh, the formation, it is a uh, active supporters. It's kind of like a recommendational card here. The Tree of Wands urges you to take participation only into those openings which are already founded on a rock solid foundation. So in other words, <clears throat> do not waste your time with uh, situations that are anybody's guests. It's simply what these couple of cards are pointing, but rather, you know, consolidate on your current position and look for and an opportunities how you can expand on your current positions. And if we are following the dating example here, um, let's say that you are currently having interest, another person come around. So what these cup, couple of cards are pointing is that instead of, you know, bouncing into this new person, you already have an established position with the previous one. So try to make something, something happen out of this appearance of a third party with the first person, for example, make them jealous, right? That is just for an, an example. But yeah, it's, it looks like uh, for you, Cancer, that the month is going to be rather very active and uh, quite crazy, I would say. I mean, people of, uh, uh, people of you which likes to be busy all the time, well, you have your wish come, coming true in the month of August, it is very unlikely that you're going to feel Board. So that that leads us to the next card here, which stands for the peripheral activities, and we do have the Sun card. Well, what we can say really, I mean, um, as a peripheral activities, that card points that you need to enjoy yourself. Any kind of activity that offers you a, um, a a flow of exhilaration, it is an activity that you should participate into, having beverages with, with, with friends, for example, you know, attending to uh, uh, concerts, going into cinema and all these kind of stuff that makes, you, that makes you feel teenager, you know, or a child or a kid or, or, or a person who does not have a, a bunch of problems in their bag, carrying them on forward into the future. Additionally to that, the Sun card, let me draw one more here, which is the Devil, the formation, it is a uh, active neutrals. So the Sun card here with the Devil urges you to attend to those kind of exhilarating enterprises which are peripheral to the main topic, all right? Uh, which does not demand a, a lot of, uh, how do you say, a lot of obligations, okay? Things which you can simply withdraw from. So can you see the difference here? So you do have enterprises everywhere. The main topic is those enterprises where you once involved, there is no going back from them, while the peripheral activities are those enterprises which you can simply say, um, I don't like it anymore, you know, so I'm going to withdraw from it. <clears throat> and that's why you need to be very calculative, all right, very analytical throughout the months of August to be able to differentiate which is which, which enterprise you can play with and which enterprise you need to take serious. They both are going to be beneficial for you, but only, you know, if you have the, um, uh, like I said, clear-headed mind to take full advantage of such presented, uh, such presented situation. But those who are workaholics, right, with the sun and the devil, uh, well, there is a definitely ways, guys, how you can increase your monetary success throughout the months of, uh, throughout the months of August through a, a private work, all right? So you may have these opportunities or a propositions to do private 
jobs. But uh, the sun card, your entirety of the life, you know, your um, relationships with friends, you know, and all these daily routines, which are very usual for you, are going to go exactly as they are supposed to go. What I mean is that the whole month, um, aside from the very important stuff, uh, are, is going to unfold very naturally. So you may not expect um, unpleasant surprises from uh, the everyday's routine. And that leads us to the third card, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. We have a companion, Page of Pentacles. So Page of Pentacles, it's a very youthful person, and that is great, all right? But in the same time, they are very stubborn and very slow in their understanding as a challenging card, all right? So they're not very agile. So let's give you an example here how this could unfold, all right? That could be a, a co-worker of yours that you are together working on a, a project, important project. And you see an opportunity here to escalate the project, to exponentially improve it with the Eight of Wands and the Three of Wands, okay? And you share this idea of yours, all right? Or the circumstances which are leading you to that enterprise with the Page of Pentacles, and man, it's their slow analytical mind. I mean, they, they simply cannot see through. They, they will not be able to comprehend. And it's going to be very difficult for you to come up in, um, on the same page with the page, of, uh, with the page of Pentacles. The other version of interpretation of this card is that the page is going to refuse cooperating uh, or this companion will refuse cooperating for a reason being is that they are not seeing uh, that the means are justified by the results of your enterprises. And that's why this month is going to be very beneficial if in either way you are willing to let go of that companion, okay? Either a friend, co-worker, you know, suitor, you, you name it. The accompanied card of the page is going to be the uh, King of Pentacles formation passive supporters. Now we do have a surreptitious intentions. Basically, that person here, it is not in from a good will or because they sympathize to you or because they believe in the greater good. They are simply in for a, a profit. Okay. So if you are that rich guy, for, a, for example, and suddenly a, a girl shows interest out of nowhere, well, maybe you will have to test her or it could be other way around. You know, you can be that rich girl that a guy shows an interest out of nowhere. You know, as soon as they realize, you know, how rich you are. Well, you then need to put them under a test because they are in for profit or they is very there is a very big chance that they are in for a profit. OK, these couple of cards just screams for someone who is not there for the, like I said, for the greater good or because they're going to do something meaningful. They are there for the gains that that enterprise could present to them. And you changing the plan in the last minute, seeing a window of opportunity, cough, catches them off guard, catches them by surprise because they don't have time to calculate should they lose from it or should they make more gains from it. And for that reason, it's going to be very difficult for you and them to... Um, basically end up on the same page in regards to the endeavor. The uh, next card here it is the positive aspect of the month and this is going to be the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands points to recognition, reaping rewards from one effort and um, as well how do I place it? Am I reaching an important milestone into one's work or into one's career, uh, into one's relationship as well and um, Sometimes it could represent that so much needed help finally arrives, all right? So you may seize an opportunity, a window of opportunity, but you cannot pull it through alone while well, so much needed help is going to come around. The accompanied card here is going to be the Knight of Wands formation. It is a active supporters. Once again, I mean, what is going on with these supporters that month? It's going to be, I need to check the numerology of the month of August. I mean, it's, it has to be something amplified or with with a amplification or something like this i mean there is way too much supporters throughout the months of um august but um <clears throat> anyway so 
uh, with the knights of uh, with the knights of wands here uh, you have a couple of, of things that you need to kind of like exert upon your situations regarding relationship or regarding career which is going to play out as a big benefit for you first of all is be open to um experiments all right just allow yourself to experience a different kind of um uh, of enterprises let's say it that way because i have to say experience different kind of experiences you know uh, that you kind of restrict yourself up until this moment and the other thing with the eights of uh, with the knights of uh, wands is that you have to be willing to go to the very end because the knight of wands is willing to do what it takes to reach a certain goal or in this case you know the milestone in into your career and into your relationship where you are to be either recognized of a um a very productive asset or to be recognized as a compatible suitor and um etc etc but the very uh the, what can be said for certain with these couple of cards is that definitely something or someone is going to help you throw them on to pull through i um overwhelming task you know or a very difficult challenge and uh finally we do have the guidance and that will be the two of swords so let backtrack a bit where we said that these enterprises are going to come around there are going to be many of them but in the same time you need to be clear-minded when you take advantage of them and this is what the two of swords here speaks about that before you decide what to do should you take a certain enterprise or should the, should you pass on it you know in general you know what your next step is going to be you need to consider all points of view you need to maintain a an equilibrium you need to realize that you cannot have it all you take one enterprise and if you're not willing to put the necessary efforts and time behind it then there is no point taking it and if you are determined to do so what i mean is to put the efforts and the time behind it then you are skipping another enterprise you know which could seem um, equally beneficial for you so you have to be pretty clear what you want throughout the month the uh, accompanied card is going to be the 10 of um, once formation it is a uh, active friends so yeah with, with these couple of cards you definitely need to take your time to scope the pros and cons of one enterprise and to make sure that you can first deal with it and at the end that is going to be something that you really need or you really want for yourself for your family for your career and etc etc so that being said uh cancer this was your monthly tarot reading for august 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then bye